Hey folks, uh, it's Wade here at the Shoemakers Academy. Hey, today I want to talk to you about cold cement versus vulcanized uh, construction. Now, the materials I'm going to talk to you about today are available here on the Shoemakers Academy website. Um, you can find this material in our book, uh, House User Made. And also, this material is covered in our course, which is Shoemaking for Brand Builders and Designers. I'll show you what that looks like. So yeah, to find to find this uh, to find the book and the course, just come to the Shoemakers Academy website. And you look in online courses or look under here in books and tools, and you can find this stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about you know vulcanized versus cold cement. So you know your your vulcanized shoe, this is it, right? Converse, right? Or 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 Vans. This is these are vulcanized shoes. Um, you know what's the classic uh, cup sole shoe? You know here's one here. Adidas All Star. Okay, so so all rubber that goes into uh, a shoe is vulcanized, and vulcanized basically means taking the raw rubber and heating it up so that the molecules cross link and fuse. Because you know raw rubber out of a tree sap, right, is just gummy. You could tear it apart with your hands. So right here, you can see this is the the cut parts of raw rubber, and if you just pull these apart. You can pull them apart with your hand. It's literally like tangy taffy. And what the worker is doing now is loading this raw rubber into the mold so that it can be cooked, right? And it takes the shape. So here, you know, here's what a finished cup sole looks like. Here you can you maybe see this gum one better, right? So all the, the rubber pieces are fused together. And that process is called vulcanized. And once you vulcanize rubber, it makes it, you know, really tough, right? Great for great for great for footwear. So all the rubber is vulcanized. Now, uh, this this particular thing is a cup sole. So basically, they make the entire piece of rubber outsole, right, or cup sole, and it's it's actually finished, right? It's ready to go. It's ready for the upper to be glued down to it. So that that's how the cup sole is made. Now we want to look at at what it's going to take to make a vulcanized sole. So a vulcanized sole. Is basically made in pieces, right? So you're gonna have the the rubber bottom part, and then the side wall tape. And this is this is what that process looks like. Where here in this factory they're making they're making the tape, right? So they're mixing the raw rubber. Here's a machine that adds a little black strip onto the to the white, right? And this is still very soft, right? So here's the machine that's extruding those rubber pieces. And then you can easily handle it and cut it out. And here is the rubber parts being assembled on to the upper of the shoe. And then the entire shoe goes into an oven. And that's the main difference because in, in a cup sole shoe, the upper is made and they're just glued together. We say cold cement, right? You put contact cement on the, on the outsole and contact cement on the upper and you just press it together. And that's the way that 99% of, uh, well, maybe 95% of athletic shoes are made, right? So any running shoe that has fancy mesh or injection mold, all that fancy stuff, those are all made by cold cement. And you can't put those in a vulcanizing oven because all those cool modern materials will just melt, right? So that's why when you see a vulcanized shoe, they tend to be made out of suede or canvas because these materials can withstand the whole shoe going into an oven, right? Now let's, uh, let's go take a look here at, like I said, okay, so here's your, your classic vulcanized shoe right it's a converse right okay and then you know here's a here's a vans right we all know this is the old school and this is the this is the this is a vulcanized shoe now here here's one thing you know can a shoe be made both ways and yeah here here is a here is the same shoe this one is made by vulcanization this one is made by a cupsole and and actually the cupsole one is a fake right so you look you look inside these shoes here you can see where this rubber piece is all one unit, right? They molded it separately and then brought the upper and connected it. Versus in this one, when you look at the cross section, you can see where the rubber pieces of tape were lapped on and laid into each other, right? So again, that, that's how the vulcanized shoe is made, sort of this, this component, right, is made of a few different pieces. This is a piece of rubber tape this is rubber tape, and this is actually a double layer because this tape with this with the with the strip on it 
is a third piece and then the little the, the little license plate is glued down to the back and that's why on a cupsole shoe or on a, sorry in a vulcanized shoe you might see something that looks like this right it, it doesn't look that great the layers all piled up but that's actually where the tape overlaps that overlaps right and, and sometimes when they when they make a vulcanized shoe you don't see the overlap right when you look at the converse you don't see the overlap because they've actually joined the pieces of rubber they've actually butted them right here right so the tape wraps around and they and the two ends just touch each other versus the way vans does it the two pieces overlap each other right and it makes a big bump but that's actually the style all right and then okay how's this piece done just like we showed in the in the picture there they just take a sh sheet of rubber and lay it on over and then wrap the tape around it so okay that's pretty much what a vulcanized versus cold cement and here we'll look at some other We'll look at another cold cement in comparison, right? So here's here's our here's our shell toe superstar, and you can see that it's all one piece of rubber, and they've dropped the midsole inside of it, right? And here's a here's a puma, very same very same style, right? They've got a little egg crate inside, but this is all one piece of rubber, and the upper is just glued onto it. Versus versus the rubber componentry is assembled onto the upper, and then the whole shoe goes into the oven. Well, I, I hope you guys found that interesting. Um, we t we talk about this in the book and in the course. Hey, you know, why why vulcanized? Well, you know, it's kind of the look, right? That's the kind of the style, but you know what? It's kind of heavy. And because you have to cook the whole shoe, you're limited to what you can make out of it, right? You're limited to the material. There's no accident why all those Converse shoes and Vans are made out of Converse and suede because the whole shoe has to go into the oven. Hey, listen, folks, uh, if you enjoyed this, just, you know, please like and subscribe, uh, you know, come to the website. If you really want to learn about shoemaking and get into the business, whether you're a designer or a brand builder, we have tons of material to show you. We've got, we've got a dozen different courses that you can take just from home, right? These are all on-demand courses and they cover all aspects of footwear manufacturing and design and production. So if you're thinking about getting into the business, you should definitely come check it out. I mean, we really can help you get into the business and sort of understand really how these things are made. So again, whether you're a sneakerhead that's just curious or you really want to get into the business, come over to Shoemakers Academy and check it out.